Picture yourself deep inside a prehistoric forest. The ground is soft underfoot, damp from ancient rains. Ferns brush your legs. The sky is barely visible through a canopy of towering conifers. Then silence breaks. The ground trembles. Rhythmic deliberate steps shake the earth. You freeze. Something enormous is coming. But it's not just muscle and bone. It's something that's watching, calculating, closing in with purpose. That something is Tyrannosaurus rex. For most of the 20th century, T-Rex was seen as a symbol of raw power, massive jaws, crushing teeth, a towering frame. It dominated museums, books, and Hollywood screens. But for all its fame, it was rarely credited with anything resembling intelligence. The popular image was simple, a giant mindless killing machine. But as paleontology has advanced, so has our understanding. And what we're discovering now is something far more intriguing. T-Rex may have been smarter, possibly much smarter, than we ever imagined. Let's begin with the evidence inside its skull. While we obviously don't have fossilized brains, we do have remarkably well-preserved skulls. Using CT scans, scientists can create endocasts, 3D reconstructions of the brain cavity. These reveal not just size, but shape and structure. Compared to other large dinosaurs, T. rex had a relatively large brain for its body size. More importantly, the shape and complexity of its brain suggest advanced capabilities. One standout feature is the olfactory bulbs, the brain structures responsible for processing smell. In T. rex, these were massive. Not just large for a dinosaur, large by any standard, this implies an extraordinarily keen sense of smell, perhaps rivaling or exceeding that of today's wolves, vultures, or even bloodhounds. But good smell alone doesn't mean intelligence. That's where the cerebrum comes in. This part of the brain governs decision-making, learning, and memory. In T Rex, the cerebrum was relatively well-developed, larger than that of many other theropods. That's a clue that it wasn't just acting on reflex. It may have had the ability to analyze, respond, and adapt to different situations in real time. Then there's vision. T. rex had forward-facing eyes, giving it binocular vision, the same kind of vision predators like hawks and owls rely on to hunt. This allowed it to calculate depth and distance with precision. Combined with evidence that its eyesight was incredibly sharp, possibly better than that of modern birds of prey, it could have tracked moving targets from remarkable distances. It wasn't just charging blindly, it was aiming. All these senses smell sight hearing, fed into a brain capable of using that information wisely. That's what sets an intelligent predator up. It's not just about noticing the world. It's about interpreting it, reacting to it, even planning within it. Now, let's go even further. What if T. Rex wasn't just operating alone, but as part of a social dynamic. Fossil sites have uncovered juveniles and adults found together, suggesting the possibility of group behavior. If young T. rexes spent time with adults, did they learn from them? Did they observe hunts, mimic techniques, understand which prey were easier targets? That would imply a form of social learning, a cornerstone of intelligent behavior in many modern animals. We also have to consider its lineage. T. rex was a theropod, part of the same group that gave rise to birds. And modern birds, especially crows, ravens, and parrots, are among the most intelligent animals on Earth. They use tools, solve puzzles, and even communicate in complex ways. While T. rex isn't a direct ancestor of birds, it shares a common heritage. That means the neurological foundations for intelligence might have already existed in this ancient predator. So what are we left with? A creature with sharp senses, a capable brain, a potentially social life, and a legacy that echoes in the minds of birds soaring above us today. T-Rex wasn't just a brute. It was likely a thinking, adaptive, calculating predator shaped by evolution to dominate not just with force, but with instinct honed by experience. The next time you see a T-Rex skeleton in a museum,
Try not to just see the teeth and the claws. Imagine what was behind those eyes, because beneath that thick skull may have lived a mind more brilliant than we've ever given it credit for. Let's return to that ancient forest. You're standing at the edge of a clearing. A herd of hadrosaurs, duck-billed plant eaters, graze near a slow-moving river. They snort, chew, and shift lazily. Nothing seems out of place, but just beyond the trees, beneath a curtain of ferns, something massive is waiting. It's not moving. It's not roaring. It's watching, studying, timing. That something is Tyrannosaurus rex. We often imagine predators as relentless attackers, charging in teeth, bared, smashing whatever stands in their way. And for a long time, that's exactly how T-Rex was portrayed, a reckless juggernaut. But modern science tells us that predators who survive, especially apex predators, need more than power. They need patience, precision, and above all, strategy. T-Rex didn't have to run fast. It didn't have to chase prey across open plains like a cheetah. In fact, its massive body, up to 40 feet long and 6 to 9 tons, made sprinting nearly impossible. Instead, it likely relied on ambush tactics. Moving quietly through thick vegetation, it may have used its senses to track prey waiting for the perfect moment to strike. That moment was chosen carefully. Fossil evidence suggests T-Rex often targeted vulnerable individuals, the injured, the young, or the old. Like lions today, it may have followed herds over long distances, identifying weakness before committing to an attack. That means it wasn't just reacting. It was observing, selecting, and planning. Its senses made that possible. We've already explored its incredible sense of smell and vision, but in the context of hunting, those senses become weapons of foresight. T-Rex didn't need to see prey to know it was nearby. It could smell a wound, hear rustling in the dark, track a scent trail through mud and forest. But what truly separates instinct from strategy is the ability to learn from experience. Fossil records show patterns of attack. Prey bones from species like Triceratops and Edmontosaurus show repeated injuries in the same places, neck vertebrae, hind legs, and spinal columns. These are not random bites. These are targeted strikes aiming to disable rather than merely wound. This suggests that T. Rex understood anatomy not consciously like a surgeon, of course, but instinctively through repetition and memory. It knew where to bite. It learned what worked. And it used that knowledge to make each hunt more efficient than the last. Now let's entertain a bolder idea. What if T-Rex didn't always hunt alone? At several fossil sites, scientists have discovered multiple T-Rex skeletons preserved together, including both adults and juveniles. While some argue these were simply drawn to a carcass and died at the same time, others believe it hints at a form of group behavior. Maybe not pack hunting like wolves, but something more complex than pure solitude. If young T-Rexes traveled with adults, they may have learned by observation, watched how adults stalked, how they picked their moment, how they delivered the final blow. This kind of learning is known in modern animals as social learning, and it requires both awareness and memory, even conflict among T. Rexes tells us something. Some fossils show bite marks on skulls evidence of combat between individuals. These weren't kill shots. They were ritualistic dominance, displays, territory fights, mating competitions. Engaging in such behavior without killing each other outright implies a capacity for self-control, social signaling, and maybe even understanding unspoken boundaries, traits far beyond simple instinct. When you combine all this, a new picture emerges. Not a brainless monster thrashing through the forest, but a creature that moved with intention that waited for the right opportunity, that may have taught its young, that struck with surgical accuracy, and that perhaps remembered each encounter, storing what worked and discarding what didn't. Today's predators, the most successful ones, aren't the strongest. They're the ones who think. T-Rex may have belonged to that category. A predator that mastered 
Not just the kill, but the wait, the watch, the plan. It didn't just dominate its world through size. It may have ruled it through strategy. By now, we've seen that Tyrannosaurus Rex wasn't just a brute force predator. It had sharp senses, strategic hunting behavior, and signs of decision-making that hint at real cognitive ability. But there's one final question that takes the idea of intelligence even further. Could T-Rex learn and remember? And if so, what does that tell us about the roots of intelligence in the animal kingdom? While we can't directly observe the behavior of a creature that went extinct, six, six million years ago, we can examine the clues it left behind, especially in its brain. Paleontologists have long used endocast 3D reconstructions of brain cavities from fossilized skulls to estimate brain structure in dinosaurs. In T-Rex, these reconstructions reveal a brain that, while not massive in absolute size, was highly specialized. The cerebrum responsible for voluntary action problem solving and memory was well developed. Not at the level of mammals or birds, but impressive for a reptile of its time. This suggests that T. rex may have had the neurological capacity for memory. In other words, it could remember which areas yielded food where danger lurked and which tactics failed or succeeded in previous hunts. That kind of memory is critical for a predator living in a dynamic competitive environment. Think of modern predators like lions or wolves. They don't just act on impulse, they remember the terrain, the behavior of their prey, the movements of rivals. It's how they survive. If T-Rex had similar memory capabilities, it may have been far more than a creature of instinct. It may have been an animal shaped by experience. Even more fascinating is the possibility of social learning, learning from others. At certain fossil sites, scientists just have discovered adult and juvenile T, rex specimens buried together. This could be coincidence, but it also opens the door to an intriguing theory. What if young T. rexes followed adults? What if they observed hunting learned territory boundaries or picked up survival strategies by watching and imitating? In the animal world, today social learning is a marker of high intelligence. It's what allows whales to develop song dialects, elephants to pass on migratory paths, and primates to use tools. It requires not just observation, but interpretation, memory, and replication. And if T-Rex engaged in anything like this, it would place its intelligence in an entirely new light. But there's one more layer to this puzzle evolution. T-Rex was part of the theropod family, a group of bipedal carnivorous dinosaurs that also includes the ancestors of modern birds. While T-Rex itself didn't evolve into birds, it shared many traits with those that did hollow bones, forward-facing eyes, even a wishbone. Most importantly, it shared a similar brain structure, one that laid the foundation for what we now recognize as some of the most intelligent creatures on Earth. Modern birds like crows, ravens, and parrots are not just clever, they're astonishing. They solve multi-step problems, use tools, recognize faces, and even plan for the future. These are not abilities that arose overnight. They are the result of millions of years of evolutionary refinement likely beginning in creatures not unlike T. rex. Recent studies comparing the endocasts of theropods to modern birds show striking similarities, expanded forebrains, well-developed optic lobes, and a complex arrangement of sensory processing regions. These features suggest that the groundwork for avian intelligence was already being laid during the time of T. rex. So, what does that mean for how we see this iconic predator? It means that the mind of T. rex wasn't just a blunt tool for survival. It was part of a larger story, an evolutionary trajectory that led to the emergence of problem-solving, tool-using, memory-rich creatures. Its intelligence didn't vanish when the asteroid struck. It evolved. It took flight. When you see a crow stealing a snack or a parrot mimicking your words, you're seeing the distant spark of something ancient, a legacy of brain power that began not with the mammals, 
but with dinosaurs. T-Rex may not have been the Einstein of the Cretaceous, but it wasn't a dumb lizard either. It was a sentient, responsive, and possibly even socially aware animal, navigating its world with more awareness than we ever thought possible. In the echoes of its footsteps, we hear not just power, but a flicker of thought.